Hi everybody, it's Guy, the FizzWiz Guy, and welcome to this video on how to service a pressure transducer. So when you first bought your FizzWiz Bubbles Anywhere edition, it came with some spare parts, and one of them was one of these little pressure transducers. And you may need to service your transducers if um, you were to say to overpressure the FizzWiz, or if you were to get some of your uh, product or beverage into the unit. Um, to service it, it's very, very easy and it's very, very quick. So the first thing you have to do is disconnect the FizzWiz from the power supply. So we pull the power supply out, get rid of the lead, and then we're going to take the lid off. To take the lid off, it's just four screws with a crosshead screwdriver. Okay, now when you take the lid off, the only thing you have to be careful about is that these buttons are connected to the printed circuit board below the lid. Here we go. So we can just drop that down to the side there like that. Okay, so here are your two pressure transducers. This is the CO2 in transducer, and this is the head pressure or bright tank transducer. So we're gonna service the bright tank transducer on this one. So they unclip very easily. And you see this little plastic pipe here. And you'll notice that there's a little plastic clippy thing. And we need to pull that plastic clippy thing out. Then to take the pipe out, there's like a little collar. And we just have to push that collar in and pull the pipe out. OK, take our new transducer. And we're going to push that pipe in. And you have to make sure the pipe goes in quite a distance. It's about a centimeter or so of plastic that's going to push into the pipe. There you go. And then the little clippy thing has to go back in. Okay, and then the last thing is we have to clip it back onto the printed circuit board. And that's it. So now we can put the lid back on, making sure we don't trap the wires. do up the four screws that put the, hold the lid on. And that's it. 